Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be finishing off Commander uh, SK Commander Control 36 Drive. We're going to run drive today in remote control using a uh, two push button speed control and also setting a multi frequency set that we'll be checking out how this all works. So, if you missed the last two videos where we commissioned the drive and then the second video we did the 2 3 wire control and other business, I will leave those two videos in the description below. Also, the manuals and anything else that would help you out, uh, I believe would help you out, it will be in the description below. So, without further ado, let's get started. So for our next station, uh, there's uh, only again one parameter that we need to change if you are from default, if you are continuing exactly where I am coming from. So uh, we need to make sure that uh, parameter 5, let's just get, oh, that one, get down to 5. Parameter 5 says E pot. So, and the parameter 11 uh, for me stands at zero. You can have at one or any other uh, start stop logic if you wish to have it. My one is a uh, uh, start at a default at zero. So, for the wiring, so the station by the way looks gonna look like that. So, we're gonna have a run, forward, run reverse, and we're gonna be having the speed up and speed down. So, for the wiring. This is uh, the diagram. Let me just quickly show you that. Guy, by the way, guys, there is uh, all of these. Actually, that's in the computer. So, no, I don't have a diagram on me. All of these diagrams, you can get them out of the manual. Do check the manual, it is there. So, uh, if you want to follow the manual, or you can just follow me. So, let's just leave that one out. So, terminal B2 coming to our uh, east open here and from there on it carries on goes back to terminal B4 and then uh, uh, speed forward and uh, no, run forward is going to be uh, B, 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 um, yeah, B5 then it's a run reverse B6 and the speed up B7 and speed down is actually going to be a which one that works out in there a T4 so that one remember that one's going to go for the t4 and because all because all of this once you select this uh this uh, selection in parameter uh, five he's already going to assign some of the things to your uh, internal parameters let me just quickly show it to you that's why it was in 60. so uh let's go to 60. in the 60 i assign a couple of parameters that you more or most likely are going to need i'm going to go through them in a minute as you can see 61 this is very sensitive for the buttons and then the selection how you want uh, being, uh, things being saved and so the other one I can't remember what that was we get that in a minute so uh, so yeah so you already automatically assigns them to you so because you are most likely going to be using them so uh, so yeah that's wiring that's the station so let's put up the cover and have a look how that works so before we get started there's a diagram so uh, the one I said this is the one we're going to be following is a e pot uh, in here so that's even though it says 11.27 now, because uh, it, it, it is from the advanced menu, but the normal menu, that's parameter 5. And you can see down here, that that's the ones I was showing you in here. 62, so it's, it's, it's uh, 61, 62, and 63. And that pretty much explains your motorized pod down our rate. It's pretty much how sensitive the button's going to be. Motorized pod bipolar selection, if you wish to have it. And then here, in uh, 921, motorized pod mode. You can have zero at power up, last value at power up, zero at power, and very much how he saves your values as your speed goes up and down. That's pretty much it. So for us to check it out, so put it in a run mode. As you can see, my button it takes a bit of time to go up. We can change that. And you can lower it down with a button. That's really pretty cool because because a lot of people do like this kind of method for it uh, uh, using just the buttons for the speed control. So again, what we're going to do in here, we're going to change the, the uh, 61. Was it 61? Uh, that, is, that was uh, 923. Which 923 was assigned to? 71. So yeah, it's 61. So you can double check here which parameter was assigned. So it's 61. So we're going to change that one. Down, oh, 
down. So let's get, oop. Let's, let's say five and let's see how sensitive the button is and now. So there we go. So let's put it on. See how much faster it goes up now. So that one pretty much is reacting to how you, it is going to be saving your, uh, how, how, how sensitive your buttons is going to be. And it's pretty much you can adjust that. And as well as you can see now, it, it, it saves my frequency. And you can change that as well in a parameter uh, 9.21 if you don't want to save it or basically it gives you some nice options in there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an electronic way of controlling your uh, speed for your motor using a run and reverse. Oh yeah, but I forgot, forgot to put it in reverse. Again, they lock each other out. Doesn't run an error, which is good. So yeah, so that's uh, MOP. Next up, let's have a look how the multi-frequency works. As for the multi-frequency, the station we are going to be using looks uh, like a so. We're going to use a run signal because remember, we do need to have a run for any of the speeds to work. And we have speed one, speed two, and speed three. But actually, we will have four speeds. And there's a couple of options we can go with. There's actually three options you can go with. And we, there's drawings, we're going to follow this drawing in here where you can have uh, A1 as a, as a frequency. You can still use a potentiometer and have a three speeds. Or you can have four speeds. This is the one we are going to be going with. The run signal, uh, when you open the run signal, the, and as long as these bits are closed, basically any of the switches are closed, preset one is going to be, uh, oh, preset one is going to be working. It's pretty much this is the diagram we're going to be working. And that comes under the PR. If by any chance you want seven, that option is there, but you need to do fiddle with parameters quite substantially to achieve that. And I think the easiest ways to do that is really to uh, use software for it. So we're not gonna be touching that at all. So as it comes down for the wiring, here we go. So we have a B2, again, a 24 volt signal for B2 coming down. Coming in here, coming through and then going back to our uh, B4 as our enable signal. Then we have run signal for the uh, B5. And then we have a speed one, B7. And speed two is gonna be our uh, uh, T4. And as you can see down there, 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 right here, I have two signals. So basically to achieve the third, well, fourth in our case, you have to close these two together. Two, and this is what this pretty much, uh, this uh, this lot is doing it down here. Not, not not these two, these two needs to be closed together. So, uh, so that's what we're achieving in here, which will achieve our uh, third speed plus as a run button as well. And that's pretty much what is going on down here. That goes T4, that goes to a B7, that goes to a, a B4, and that goes to B2. Uh, is it B2? No, B4, and that goes B5. Oh, I'm mixing up the dust letters, but uh, hopefully you are getting the gist. So that's pretty much what the, that is. And uh, to change your uh, speed, so let me put on the cover and I'll show you that uh, how that's done. Here we are, cover is on. So let's quickly show you where you change your speeds. As you can see down there, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And I usually would leave, you leave that as a zero, but uh, yeah, I'll finish for, for the purpose of showing it. I just entered five frequencies. You can see by default, they are all zeros. So do make sure that your uh, speeds are entered before you test or whatever else you do. So uh, here we go. So um, here we are. We put in a oop, we put in a run mode. As you can see, I have a five, which I selected down there is five hertz. So from there on, that will be my uh, speed two. If we, and then this will be my speed three. And this will be my speed four. If you want to look at that way. And by the way, you don't really have to have the switches if you don't want to, because you just, just can do that and achieve the same thing. So. So yeah, this is, this is for the demonstration purposes because with a lot of stations, I show seven speeds. Uh, that's why I have the third switch down there. So, uh, and that's that's pretty much why that is there. This is entirely up to you how you wire it and how you play with it. So that will do, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. We have finished this drive for now. Maybe later on in the future, we're gonna look into a, uh, uh, their softwares in as well. But for the time being, I don't think we're gonna be in this drive. We're gonna do on their uh, C family and M family. Uh, maybe in the future. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this is helping you out, getting you exactly where you want to be. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, do ask them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.